Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video on TV shows that I have enjoyed watching on Hulu. In my previous video, I did shows and movies that I enjoyed on Netflix. So if you want to check those out, check them out. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. So the first show that I'm going to show you all that you should have on your Hulu list is This Is Us. This Is Us is so inspiring. I have been a fan since day one. This show will make anyone who already has kids or does not have kids really want to think outside the box and adopt just like the mother did this show is like so amazing it actually shows like life scenes that really happen in real life and it really shows things that people should know about when creating a family I definitely would recommend this show currently think that there is four seasons the fourth season is airing um, as we speak so definitely check that out show number two show number two on your Hulu list should be little fires everywhere this show is amazing yes there is only one season to this show but the eight episodes and on this show is going to blow your mind. There's a book to go along with it, and I'm going to start reading the book soon now that I have had the chance to watch the show. And I want to see if it's anything like the show. This show um, has Carrie Washington and Reese Witherspoon, and those two together are just like fire. So, of course, the title goes right good along with the two characters that are the main characters. It's just like the, the, the two of them together, they make fire. And I would definitely recommend this to anyone. Go watch it. Show number three that I would recommend to anyone is called Power. Power um, is just a show, basically... <laughs> um, you know, off of, based off of drugs and based off of trying to be successful. Um, but the show is filled with drama. The show is filled with um, a bunch of life problems. So I definitely would recommend this. And when I say um, there is six episodes on Hulu, um, about 10 to 15 episodes per season, so it's definitely not going to take you long. I definitely would recommend you putting this on your list and eventually watching it. Show four. Show number four is Station 19. Station 19 is basically um, a show about fighter fighters, basically combined with... Um, some of the characters being doctors and it is a show that I definitely would recommend to anyone. There is currently four seasons of Station 19. Season 4 is currently putting out shows the day after on Hulu. So definitely add this to your list because this show right here definitely shows the lives and how firefighters live. Show number five is The Act. The Act is a show um, based on a mother and her daughter um, where the mother makes the daughter think that she is sick and she is not. Um, and they just moved to a new town where the daughter feels, um, 
lonely, out of place, out of pocket, and she really wants to get to know new people, and mom just will not allow it, and um, it's a town where neighbors are very welcoming and can be nosy, and the mother, Dee Dee, um, doesn't want the neighbors to know a bunch of her secrets. This show definitely um, can bring tears to your eyes. It can make you just sit back and question and wonder why. Um, it definitely made me sit back and wonder, like, what is going on? And, um, you know, something like this is really sad to go through. Um, and I felt really bad for the actual show, um, the daughter, because nobody should have to be told that something is wrong with you or that you're sick and you're not really sick or nothing's really wrong with you. So it definitely um, upset me. So just be prepared to kind of sit back and like I said, wonder why. Show number six is The Handmaid's Tale. The Handmaid's Tale definitely like it's like um I don't I don't know how to describe it but it's like there's one piece left after er the ending of every episode that makes you want to watch the next one and um this show is definitely a show that you're going to want to put on your Hulu list um, it has three seasons um, it's basically about um, a girl or we should say a woman named Alfred who um, is a handmaid's tale um, she's you know in the oppressive Republic of Gilead and she you know struggles to um, survive as a reproductive surrogate for a powerful commander um, and his resentful wife. Um, I can honestly say that Alfred acted um, really what, excellent in this show. Um, I couldn't imagine if we were living in a time like that um, because I would not want to just be randomly taken from my husband or, you know, my family to go and basically reproduce for someone else's family. Um, and I don't know, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, but I just know I wouldn't want to. So definitely um, check this TV show out. Show number seven. Show number seven is The Good Doctor. I would recommend this show to anyone who, um, you know, just really just needs a good uplifting show to watch. It's definitely The Good Doctor. The Good Doctor um, is based off of a young surgeon um, named Sean who... Um, of course has autism and um, he joins a hospital um, team and he really wants to be a doctor that can save someone's life and with him being just so smart and you know so patient he's just more interested in saving the lives and um, seeing the, the outcome and the good in the patients. And last but not least, show number eight. Show number eight is Sons of Anarchy, okay? Sons of Anarchy should have been at the top, but these aren't ranked in order of what shows I had liked, what shows I had liked the, the least. Um, I just randomly picked the order that I wanted to go in, but this show I left for last to end with a banger. Sons of Anarchy. 
um, is something that I never thought that I would get into. Um, Sons of Anarchy is based on a really different scenery, I guess you can say. Um, and it's, you know, it's a dark drama that is um, about a notorious outlaw motorcycle club that has the intent on um, protecting their sheltered small town against um, drug dealers and um, the corporate developers in over zealous law per law officers um the club is is a really big pact and um like i said i didn't think that i would get into it um sons of anarchy has seven seasons um i definitely this is definitely one that i had to buy on dvd um with the full collection to add to my library of DVDs and movies that I liked um, so I think on Amazon I got it for maybe like $75 for all seven seasons um, this is just something this is something to watch um, of course not something to watch on the kids if you have them but hey it's it's a good show um, I definitely wanted it to keep going um, I definitely can say you need a box of tissues um, I just felt like the show made me feel so close to the characters that there were times where I was very sad and, and, you know, I was like, I don't, I don't want to watch it. I like, I would start watching it, um, you know, after I got to certain parts. Um, so definitely just be prepared for some sadness, be prepared to have a tissue, need a tissue. So, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you on the next video.